Hello Leo, Someone Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Keep in mind that the energies can be vice versa. Also keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate for you. If it doesn't, feel free to check out your other placements. What's the overall energy between Leo and the person Leo is connecting with or will be connecting with? We do have new love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, and then we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. All right, so far, so good. Now, for some of you, you could very well be connecting with somebody brand new. It doesn't necessarily have to be the case, of course. New love just basically represents a new beginning in love, whether it's with somebody that you're currently connecting with or will be connecting with. But if it is a brand new person, chances are the spread is going to come out extremely vague, but we'll see. We're going to focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to them. How does Leo currently view this relationship? Why are you doing this? We got the Four of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Swords. And then we got the Three of Swords. The bottom of the deck, we got the Ace of Cups. All right, how does this person currently view this relationship with Leo? Could be dealing with an Aquarius, possibly a Libra, maybe even a Taurus. How does this person currently view this relationship? Okay. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. We have the King of Wands. We also have the King of Pentacles. I don't know, dude. I kind of like this person, to be totally honest. I really like this person. Hold on. Let me look at the chariot. I feel like this person is kind of coming in out of the blue, by the way. So I don't, I don't necessarily feel like you're anticipating or expecting this person's arrival whatsoever. Um, and, and for a lot of you, this could very well be a brand new person. But so far, I kind of like this person. I do. I kind of like them. Sorry, I'm about the chariot. Bottom of the deck, we do have the four. I like this person. Sorry, I really do. I like this person. Let, let's start off with them first, Leo, and then we'll jump over to you. As as I as I mentioned, I feel like you have someone rushing in here. Now, whoever this person is, I'm not saying that they they see themselves having a future relationship with you. I'm just talking about this person in general, how they carry themselves um, as an individual. This is somebody who is basically looking to essentially settle down and be in a stable relationship. That's what this person is looking for, okay? Now, when it comes down to you, I'm not saying that this person sees a future with you per se. I'm just talking about the individual, okay? This is somebody who's looking to, like I said, just overall settle down. This is not somebody who is entering your life because they're just simply here to have a good old time with you. No, I'm not really getting that from this person in particular. I'm just not Leo, okay? Um, now, with all of that being said, I do see this person heading in your direction. I do see a lot of back and forth communication um, happening here between you and this person, whoever this person is. This is somebody who wants to talk to you. This is somebody who wants to get to know you. I feel like you've honestly captured this person's attention, to say the least. Um, so with all of that being said, I feel like this person is just simply making an attempt to kind of, you know, talk to you, get to know you, things of that nature. Um, now, man, with the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles, I feel like this person has a really good job. By the way, that's always a plus. I feel like this person has a really, really good job. This is somebody who could, you know, manage a business, manage a household. I also feel like this is somebody who's very, very attractive. Very attractive. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, with all of that being said, I kind of feel like this person has a lot of good qualities to them. Now, let's jump over to you, my friend. Again, I feel like this person's kind of coming out of the blue, mainly because I don't necessarily feel like currently at the moment you're actively pursuing love whatsoever. Uh, for a lot of you, you could have recently experienced um, a breakup. So the last thing that you want to kind of do right now is run off into the sunset with absolutely anyone and that's fine i understand that um but i kind of feel like this person's kind of showing up out of the blue here for you and it kind of looks like you're looking at this person like yeah no thank you no thank you this person's just here to hurt me this person's just here to betray me this person's just here to deceive me um to be honest i just kind of feel like the way that this person carries themselves um is kind of throwing you off just a little bit 
Um, I don't think that you're essentially used to people like this, okay? Now, like I said, I feel like this person has a lot of good qualities to them. Not only do I feel like this person has a really good job, this is somebody who's very, very attractive. This is that type of person that goes after what they want, okay? And I feel like you've honestly captured this person's attention. I genuinely do feel like you capture this person's attention. They like what they see and they're just simply going after, you know, what they want here, which I do feel like it is you. Um, of course, this person would like to essentially pursue a relationship with you because that's just in this person's nature. I don't necessarily feel like we're dealing with somebody who just likes to have a good old time with um, people. I feel like this is that type of person that likes to essentially pursue people with the expectation of it leading to something long-term, makes sense? But you're kind of looking at this person like, um, yeah, no thank you. Get the hell away from me. I don't trust you. Um, I just feel like you're not used to, to people like this. Maybe you're used to, I don't know, maybe you're used to people who are never looking for anything serious. You know what I mean? Um, but I just don't even feel like you're giving this poor person a chance. I don't. I really don't, Leo. How does Leo feel? Yeah, no thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. You got the uh, King of Cups here, my friend, with the Queen of Cups. And then you have the Ten of Cups. Just saying. Just saying, Leo. I'm just saying. But it kind of looks like you're just like, no, thank you. Back the hell up. Not interested. You're not to be trusted. Get away from me. Let, let, let's, I don't know, let, let, how does this person feel? This person could live at a distance from you, possibly. We have judgment. We also have the uh, three of wands, and then we have the moon. Mm. The bottom of the deck, we do have the lovers. We also have the two of wands. Oh, look, we have the empress. Now, the person that sits in the chariot is actually the emperor. So true pair situation here between you and this person. The both of you are showing up as a true pair twice. Leo, listen, Linda, okay? Um, <sighs> I mean, listen. Okay, listen, 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 listen. I, I kind of feel like there's a lot of potential here between you and this person. I really, really do. But here's the thing. This all really does depend on you, okay? I think that this person just simply wants you to kind of give them a chance. And I also feel like this person's confused at the same time as to why you're just being so extremely closed off towards them and the idea of coming together with them, especially because it kind of looks like this is somebody who's very, 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 very interested in you. I feel like you've captured this person's complete and undivided attention interested in you, okay? And this really does all depend on you, dude. It really, really does. But again, it's like... There, there's only so much that this poor person can do. You see what I'm saying? Because it's like they can't force you to be with them. Because you're making it pretty freaking clear that you don't want anything to do with this person. Mainly because you don't necessarily think that this person has your best interests at heart. And that's fine because I see you kind of rejecting this human time and time again. But again, I feel like this person's kind of confused as to why you're kind of responding and reacting this way towards them. Especially because... I just kind of feel like this person just wants to kind of get to know you, talk to you, maybe even pursue a relationship with you later on down the line. You're not dealing with someone, Leo, who's just here to have a good old time with you. See what I'm saying? We're not dealing with that type of individual. Not this time around, we're just not. Um, so I think that this person's kind of confused as to why you're acting this way um, towards them, especially because they just, they just kind of want to pursue you and possibly a relationship with you later on down the line so they can't quite understand why you're rejecting them the way that you're rejecting them because I see you kind of rejecting this person time and time again which is kind of telling me that this person has made multiple attempts to try to get to know you to try to possibly even pursue you in a romantic sort of way but you continue to shut them down time and time again um here's how you know this person has your best interest at heart because they're sitting here 
fucking confused because they're just like, I don't get it. Why are they acting this way? What did I do wrong? Did I do something wrong? Because as far as they're concerned, they feel like they didn't do anything wrong. You see what I'm saying? That's how you know. That's how you know. This person's not here to play any games with you, but you don't necessarily seem to think so. Okay, what actions will Leo take towards this person? We have Judgment. We also have the Empress, and then we have the Ace of Swords. Let me look at the Ace of Swords. Can I remember the Ace of Swords? Again, True Care situation here. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I like the ending here. Because I feel like you're giving this person a chance. I do. I feel like you're giving this person a chance. In reference to, you know, how you plan on moving forward here, I don't see you jumping into any sort of commitment with this person. I think that you're just going to sit back and kind of see if, in fact, this person does have your best interests at heart. So with all that being said, I do see you giving them a chance um, in the end. But like I said, I don't really see you jumping into anything serious between you and this person. I think that you're just going to kind of sit back and kind of analyze this whole entire situation and kind of see if, in fact, this person does have your best interests at heart, okay? But again, I don't see you jumping into anything serious with this person. If this is somebody who truly does, uh, you know, want to possibly pursue a serious relationship with you later on down the line, if in fact this person really does mean well, I think that you're going to sit back and just kind of watch the show and see what happens here between you and this person. But that doesn't kind of change how you kind of already look at this person. You don't trust them. Let's just kind of throw the obvious out here. You don't trust them, but I think that you're willing to essentially give this person a chance to possibly prove you wrong. So I do like that. I do like that. What actions? <laughs> if it's one thing that I will say about this person is that this person might suffer from anxiety. Um, you might make this person a little bit nervous because I feel like this person's a little bit intimidated by you, especially because they finally see that you're letting them in. So now is the time for them to really, really prove themselves to you. All this rejecting that you've been doing, you know, towards this person, now that you're giving this person the opportunity to basically prove themselves to you, the, the, the pressure's on, to say the least. It's definitely on, to say the least. I do feel like this person's a little bit intimidated by you. You might even be older than this person, but I do feel like this person's definitely intimidated by you. But like I said, I don't necessarily see that stopping this person uh, from pursuing you and what it is that they essentially want with you. But I kind of feel like this person's kind of shocked that you're giving them a chance to kind of prove you wrong. Um, so like I said... It kind of looks like the two of you will eventually fall into alignment towards the very end. I think that this person is just kind of taken back by the simple fact that you're actually giving them a chance to kind of show you that they really do have your best interests at heart. I don't necessarily feel like this person's kind of anticipating or expecting you to kind of give them a chance, but I do see you giving them a chance. I do see that happening. Any advice for Leo? Do, do, do. Any advice for Leo? this person oh, I, do, I like this person we have engagement and then we also have heart-to-heart -heart conversations like I said this relationship it does have a lot of potential mainly because of the simple fact that the person who's coming after you is somebody who again is not looking to have a good old time with you they're just not you know I feel like this person's too grown for all of that to be totally honest this person's not trying to play these little games with you even though you seem to think so I don't necessarily feel like that's the case but like I said I do see in the end the two of you again coming together and falling into alignment with one another I just kind of feel like this person is going to be extremely shocked that you're actually giving them a chance to, to, to prove you wrong, to essentially show you that they really do have your best interests at heart. But I feel like this person is not going to mess up. I don't feel like this person is going to mess up, especially because you're really giving them a chance uh, to, to show you that they are different because I feel like this person is different. I like this person for you. I do. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.